Okay, YouTube, here we are at Mescalos Furs. Welcome to the Mescalos Furs of Harrisburg, PA, the capital city of Pennsylvania. And right here we are backing up to see everything. And right here is the parking lot and it says, caution, beware, be aware of the wall when backing up. Thank you, and thank you for watching this video. Right here, that really cool ornament. It must be a Christmas ornament left there from Christmas right here. Looks like a mask, face mask ornament. Let me zoom in so you can see how cool that is. In case you need an extra face mask when you're in Harrisburg here, you might use that one or not. Either way, right here, we're welcome. The scout was first. First time for everything. First time I'm ever walking here. First time I'm ever going inside here. It's been here my entire life, I want to say. Might ask in here, might not. One day, soon they kick me out of here. Never been here my entire life. Like been here my entire life, and now it is going out of business sometime next week. The store closing liquidation sale says the same thing up there. And right here, it looks like the owner, the nice Mercedes Benz thing and bar. The right like here, the part of the Rotary Club. You can see that the Rotary Club. That's nice. And we're going on in. Right here is our business hours. A closed Sunday, and right here you can see on 9 to 5 every day, other than Saturday, it's from 10 to 2. I one train to walk in here from the Friendship Center. So we're going on in. This is a really nice place here. Goodbye. Okay. Station sale. I'm not just looking around. I'm on my one uh, trainer at the Friendships Community Center. I used to work here. Uh, do you remember? I, I forget her, na her name, but she was like a real, uh, like sort of, uh, I don't want to say small, but like skinny uh, thing. She had like short hair, I think. Alex. Al Alex, that was her name. Yeah. But yeah, yeah she, you know, do you want me to tell you where she, what happened to her? Do you, do you remember? Yeah, no, I know her. But yeah, yeah, uh, she's not, uh, you know, probably good chance Neither of us will ever see her again in our life. Not that she's doing well and everything, I think. Yep, yep. But um, do you know where? Uh, you know uh, what happened to her? Uh, she's in Florida. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna tell you that, but my sister told me that. But yeah. So um, what's like the discount on all the coats? Like I've always wanted. Yeah, I was gonna tell you. I've always wanted to come in this place. Like all my life, I've always seen this. Just I've never. Uh, I've always told my parents I want to come in here, but they always said like the hours. Store hours are like weird or whatever. But, um, is so is this this place is like remind me of I've never been here, but always remind me of like a place I'd seen like Brooklyn, Manhattan, or like some expensive New York City shop like that. Right. But just if I was born in 94, in the entire as far as I know, this place was here my entire life. But, uh, what year was this uh, made or built or do you guys open up? Uh, 69. Six, uh, 19, this exact store? Yeah. Uh, so, so what what, how, what year was Mescalos first established? So? 69. 69. So this is your first store? Yep. Uh, I don't, that's hard to believe. So um, where, um, how many of these are there though? What's that? How many Mescalos first throughout America are there? Just one. Just, oh, so uh, that's uh, really sad you guys are going out. So do you guys, um, I'm not like a, protester against furs or anything uh but anyways uh, do you guys ever have those people like the cr crazy uh owner people that say like don't kill animals to get fur coats or whatever no. like prote protesters on it that's nice is it that picture of your daughter or your wife there it's a nice car it's, it's, it's not your car in the background though or one of them What's that? it's not one of your cars in the background one of, my what? one of your cars, us. No, it's not but, one yeah, of my yeah. Car. No, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, people don't usually understand what I say. What went a car, but so uh, you you own this place? Yeah. But and you you used to did you used to work for Patriot News or what's that? You used to work for the Patriot News. No, it's just a jacket. Yeah, it's a nice jacket. So uh, anyways, is this like all the coats you have left in here? Like, there's not like another section over here. Yeah, that's it. So uh. So what you guys, uh, have you ever heard of, uh, do you know uh, Irene Grab 
Uh, if you could look her up, I don't know if she's ever bought anything here. It's my mom's name, but should. So these are like really good prices. Right here. Do you, do you know what the most like expensive coat here is or? Uh, they're all different. I would probably say uh, like these two, like in, well, is that a coat up here? That's a blanket. Uh, that's why I was kind of thinking it was a blanket, but. So. So that's, though, though you've uh, been in New York City, like Manhattan or Brooklyn, where, where all the nice uh, like expensive uh, coat stores are and everything. What's that? Well, you've been to, like, Brooklyn, Manhattan and stuff with, like, where all the nice expensive coat stores are. Yeah. But, yeah, just because my, my one teacher said her her husband's family is from uh, the, uh, one of the expensive part of there. And her and her daughters like, always like to go in the expensive coat stores. And they like to see who can find the most expensive coat. And then everyone that, like, works there thinks, like, they're, like, white trash and stuff. Like, just... Because they can't, because the coats are like, like, I don't know, like $10,000, but. I uh, just, what's the most expensive coat in here, though? Uh, they're all different. I couldn't pick uh, out. Uh, they, these ones, I like these uh, top. Well, what do they call these? If this wasn't no fur on, but it's a guy's coat that they wear with suit, I think that's a top coat, right? Right. But yeah, yeah, and then. But you, you've never sold any guy's uh, clothing uh, coats at all? No, we did. But um, I saw, I said that uh, I was, the reason I, I, I just called, I called, you're the one who picked up, right? Right. Because I, I just called from, you know, to show my YouTubers, I just called from right next door right there at, at uh, Aspire, uh, just a uh, check up there. But anyways, um, and I've never, I just walked over here with my dad, and I probably wouldn't have, but I guess uh, COVID, has, has that hurt your business at all? But yeah, so, and I, I love the, that's, I can tell this is from the 60s because you got the old, uh, this place was built because you got, I see you still got the old uh, speaker box thing there. Yeah. Well, what's that? Uh, that looks like it's from like an apartment complex, like where someone would call up or whatever, but what's what's that all for right there? You see what I'm zoomed into? What about it? What's that thing for there? That was a speaker. It uh, was just, um, what, like a radio or what? Yeah, it was a radio. But yeah, because it looks like, you, you ever see like, if you watch Seinfeld or in an old uh, time, like a permit complex, like they have, like that's a call box where someone beeps, uh, you can beep someone in or whatever. Right. So now that's really cool. If you ever sell this to people to like a house or or any other kind of business, then I guess you have, to, you might be selling the vault too right here. So that's uh, cool. To, Whoever buys would get a vault. Do you, do you, uh, have you guys already sold this to like a new business or whatever? Yeah. So, um, do you know what this be, uh, what kind of business this will be? I do, but I can't say. Uh, so, um, but, so it's, it's their, it's their business. If they want to, if they would hear and they'd want to tell me they could, but yeah. it's, but yeah. So I guess they don't really, in. I wonder if they could uh, advertise. Uh, would you uh, let them? Uh, I guess probably not yet. But have you? Uh, have you guys had commercials on TV though before? We did, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, um, I guess then that's pretty much all. I, so, so you guys saw this? This? Uh, what's this uh, thing here? It's like wait, put a vase on. Yeah, table. Well, you guys sell that though? Uh, no, I'm not selling any of the furnishings. Ah. Uh, well, What's, is that supposed to be like, this? I supposed to have like little kids there, babies, but yeah. So I uh, just, oh, uh, you look like a real businessman, like, but is it, I was just wondering, did you ever have, is this going to be your last business? Like, uh, you're not going to, after this, what do you think you'll do with your life? I have plenty to do. Plenty to do, I guess. Well, you have plenty of vacation time. Yeah, uh, pl like plenty of, plenty of time to volunteer and donate your millions to, the less fortunate, but yes, if you want to do that. But anyways, this is a really so. It's all like I was picturing it would be a bigger, but I guess it used to be a lot bigger, though, right? Like there used to be a lot more coats in. But so uh, this thing is uh, is it what's is this like supposed to be a a, a straw? Or, it's a vest. A vest. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking of vest, but I couldn't think of the right word. Anyways, so um. 
think I should just cut the video and then